Leaders from various industries around the world have gathered in Davos, Switzerland for the 2019 World Economic Forum, where artificial intelligence is a top subject of discussion. CNET senior producer Dan Patterson interviewed founder and CEO of Singularity Net, Ben Gertzel, about AI. Dan filed this report earlier about their conversation. Artificial intelligence is the connective thread that ties together the economy, politics, and technology here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Now, many of the world leaders who attend the forum are concerned that automation and AI could replace and destroy economies in both the developing world and affluent countries. Dr. Ben Gertzel, who helped build Sophia the Robot, one of the first examples of human-like AI, spoke with CBS News about how AI will replace jobs, but also build jobs in the near future. Working for a living is going to go obsolete, and ultimately that will be great. What you'll have is AIs and robots making the stuff we need and providing the services that, that we need, and they will enjoy doing this because they were programmed to enjoy doing this. The path to get there may be significantly rocky because our society is not even that good at dealing with much smaller disruptions, let alone with a disruption as, as large as this one. So I actually don't worry much about the end game. I think it's going to be great, but I, I do worry about the path, the path getting there, and especially in the, in the developing world. Gertzel and his colleagues at SingularityNet are also looking into the far future and a technology called artificial general intelligence, or robots that could exceed human intelligence. He explained that science fiction-like tech is closer than we might think. SingularityNet project really has two motives which are achieved by the same technical design. One motive is to move toward beneficial general intelligence by creating a platform where different AIs can combine together into general intelligence where the whole has more intelligence than the sum of the parts. The other is to create a platform in which emerging general intelligence is governed and guided democratically. So everyone in the world can put AI into it, put their own data into it, and teach the AIs in the network by, by using it. And the governance of this network is by you know, democratic voting of all the participants in the network rather than by voting of the shareholders of a, of a corporation, right? Many AI experts, including Gertzel, who is on the forefront of the field, are concerned about military firms and major technology companies dominating AI tech. He explained why this could be a problem and how open source technology could help bring balance to the tech economy. I don't think it's a good thing that AI is being primarily developed by a handful of large government, military, and intelligence organizations, and then a handful of large companies working in close concert with them. I, I, I don't think this is going to get us in the smoothest way toward, toward a world where, you know, superhuman general intelligences are creating an economy of abundance for everyone. But Gertzel remains fundamentally optimistic about AI technology. Why? Because, well, humans, he says, are fundamentally good, and humans, after all, coded the robots. For CBS News in Davos, Switzerland, I'm Dan Patterson.